All right, so this is your very first script in JavaScript. And uh, the tool I'm using here is Sublime Text, although you can use pretty much any code editor. There's a whole bunch out there. Um, you can just look up free code editor. Uh, you could even do it in Notepad for that matter. Uh, but I'm using Sublime Text. It's got a bunch of nice features. It's just a simple code editor. Um, well, the first thing you need to do before we type anything is save it as an HTML file. So to do that, just file, save. Uh, let's, you could do it on your desktop or wherever you want. Um, and just type, uh, give it a name. So this is first script. And now you do have to put an extension. And for this one, I'm going to put .html. As soon as you do that, then Sublime Text knows that this is an HTML file. And the opening tag we're going to put in here is HTML. So to do a tag, we type a less than symbol. That's the comma while you're holding sh the shift key. Uh, and then start typing HT and look at that. Automatically it recognized HTML. If you leave it up here like this and now hit enter, it fills in the whole HTML structure. Now, depending on what version of Sublime Text you have, it may do it in addition to that first less than symbol. So we'll just have to delete that. Um, and now we can uh, put our script tag in here. We have to put a script tag uh, so that it reckon the browser recognizes that now we're doing some JavaScript. Because JavaScript, uh, in this case, we're actually embedding the JavaScript into an HTML file. I should have explained that before. That's why we saved it as a .html. We're making an HTML file, but we can embed uh, JavaScript right in. So the tag we're going to type in here, again, less than sign, type, start typing script. It auto-completes there. You hit enter. Now we have an opening tag, and the opening tag is here. And then we have a closing tag here. Notice every closing tag has a forward slash just in front of the name of the tag that it's closing. So we have an opening body tag, closing body tag, opening HTML tag, closing HTML tag. So we have opening script tag and a closing script tag. So right in between there, I'm going to put a couple returns. So now this is where we're going to put our, our JavaScript. Now, for the purposes of this introductory script, it's going to be really simple. A single line of code, we're going to do an alert. So I type alert, and now I'm going to put brackets. Notice that it colored it blue, alert. Now, if you're not seeing, if you're doing this and you're not seeing any colors, that means that you haven't saved it as an HTML file first. Make sure you do that, then it knows how to color the syntax. Inside the brackets, we can put in quotation marks whatever you want the alert box to, uh, to show. Now, an alert is actually just a simple pop-up box. And so, first script that every programmer learns, hello world. And I'm going to put a semicolon at the end. Now, save it. And then you can actually right click in the middle of it and choose open in browser and it will open it up in a new browser. And look, hello world. And it just has an OK button. Now that you have this, change it to whatever you like. Have some fun with it. And you have just written your first JavaScript.